It might seem like a strange partnership, golf, recycling, and artwork. But throw in a healthy dose of humor and you're ready to hit the fairway. On the border of the Hyde Park and Woodlawn neighborhoods in Chicago, an offbeat new project is maximizing miniature golf. Here's the story on the art beat. Even by miniature golf standards, this course is a weird one. I've, I've always liked mini golf, um, but mainly, I'm not sure it's so much the golf as it is the, the kind of odd contraptions and the Rube Goldberg-esque quality of a lot of mini golf holes where, um, you know, you're trying to find a really inefficient way to do a very simple task getting the ball to go in a hole. It's a kind of engineering feat or and with, with a lot of possibility for creativity. That creativity involves recycling everything from bicycles to, yes, the kitchen sink. The idea was to reuse existing materials and to create holes that will later have another life. This difficult hole won't get any easier when it becomes a quarter pipe skateboard ramp. We're calling it the first annual putt-putt green design competition. And um, it came about through a donation of a large quantity of AstroTurf. We put out a call for entries to artists, designers, industrial designers, engineers. We sort of spread, spread the word far and wide. We wanted the artists to design using our AstroTurf. We'd give them the AstroTurf, and their responsibility was to find um, salvaged materials and then build a future use into each design. I don't always design golf courses. I'm a sculptor and I also teach at the Art Institute, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. I wanted to make sure that you could get the ball from up here to down there and I wanted to have a really long putter to have a little bit more of a, of a challenge for the user and I wanted this to speak of its final, well probably not final, but next life. In professional golf, birdie is when you're one under par. On this course, birdie has a whole different meaning. A lot of this is going to be reconfigured to be in bird service. So they're going to be going in public parks, private areas all across Chicago as feeders and nest boxes for some of the urban birds that we have. Okay, this one, uh, this hole is called uh, Every Process Creates Disorder. It's by the, an artist named Michael Dinges. Um, and and he's sort of, he's designed a little subdivision here that has a, a desert encroaching and a, a tornado that looks like it's about to carry all the houses away. And, uh, <laughs> and it's partially a comment on the way in which uh, human activity affects, affects different ecosystems. On this course, even the putters are made from recycled objects. It's made out of rebar that's been salvaged from a construction site next to the Art Institute. So we have a little piece of uh, steel here that's been welded on to the, to the rebar. And then it runs up through some conduit here and it's taped on with a few fittings along the way. Um, and it's a, a pretty heavy putter, but you know, it, it could double as a driver maybe. We're an art group and we come out of the art world and we're interested in these materials that were kind of invisible but, but part, of, part of the art world but the kind of substructure of the art world. So we'd take these kind of leftover materials and, uh, and either turn them into some other kind of an art project or, or put them into the world in some other way. There are so many of them up here that are so challenging and so um, just so innovative in the use of materials and also just the way that these things have been put together. I mean, a kinetic project is a tough thing to, uh, to wrangle because things fall apart with things that are moving more so than with things that are static. So uh, all these came together with, uh, with a lot of insight and uh, a lot of hard work and I mean, it's, it turned out to be a great event. The first annual Putt-Putt Green Design Competition is at the Experimental Station. That's at 6100 South Blackstone Avenue in Chicago. The course will open to the public this Friday night before it moves to the University of Chicago next week in anticipation of Earth Day.
Heartbeat segments on Chicago Tonight are made possible in part by the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation and the Lloyd A. Fry Foundation. And now to our regular Tuesday night commentary. Tonight, the Tribune's Don Trice has some thoughts about one of the city's most flamboyant aldermen. Could it be 